taking care of our health is one of the most important aspects of our life. Without health, there's not much room for anything else. Sedentarianism and access to delicious food from all over the world are some of the leading causes of metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome can lead to diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular disease. Often, our best line of defense is to keep a healthy weight. There are many options out there to keep our weight in check. I go over a lot of them in this channel, so check out some of those other videos. But one of the most popular is calorie restriction. Calorie restriction is the reduction of food intake without falling into malnutrition. We all know that eating with moderation is better for our health, but why? I realized that before I answer that question, I should probably go into a little bit more detail on what exactly metabolic syndrome is. Metabolic syndrome is a group of risk factors that includes increased waist circumference or belly fat, high triglycerides, elevated blood pressure, and high blood sugar, along with low HDL. That's your good cholesterol. If a person has three of the five risk factors, they're considered to have metabolic syndrome. And though this sounds fairly benign, it's not. People with metabolic syndrome are five times more likely to develop diabetes and two times more likely to have a stroke or a heart attack. Okay, back to sirtuins. Sirtuins are proteins known to affect cellular processes like aging and stress resistance. Sirtuin 1, or certain one, is especially important for humans with a unique biochemical activity. CERT1 can regulate your body in accordance with your metabolism. An interesting metabolism function is that under a moderately calorie restricted diet, there is an increase in CERT1. This also is important to note that severe calorie restriction may affect CERT1 negatively, so don't restrict it too much. CERT1 is great in mitigating damage in your cells caused by toxic byproducts of respiration. These byproducts are known as reactive oxygen species. Reactive oxygen species damage proteins, DNA, and cells. And worst of all, the damage is cumulative. But don't hold your breath just yet. We're not still 100% sure how reactive oxygen species work, at least how it affects your bodies fully. In fact, evidence suggests that increased respiration decreases reactive oxygen species in the body. Still, we're not completely defenseless against reactive oxygen species. CERT1 may offer the answer to this complicated problem. CERT1 contains resveratrol, a stress-induced compound found in red wine. We all have heard of the benefits of drinking a glass of red wine every once in a while. Resveratrol is one of the reasons why. Resveratrol increases mitochondrial number in the muscle. More mitochondria mean that the cumulative damage caused by reactive oxygen species is mitigated. As we spoke of earlier, metabolic syndrome is a major problem for our society. Resveratrol is one of the several polyphenols within CERT1 that help mitigate the adverse effect of metabolic syndrome. Let's look into the future of sirtuins. Understanding how sirtuins work under a moderately calorie-restricted diet can lead to improvements of medical advancements. While controversial and with no clinical evidence present in humans but only in mice, some research goes as far as to speculate a possible anti-aging drug coming in the future. The cause of this theory is that SRT1 prevents reactive oxygen species from damaging cells. Furthermore, it helps improve biogenesis and DNA repair. Nonetheless, as we went over before, it still doesn't quite apply because we don't know exactly everything that reactive oxygen species do to aging in the body. Hopefully in the future, an anti-aging medicine will exist. However, today, there's a more probable potential for sirtuins. Sirtuins may be the key to understand how calorie-restricted diets work at a molecular level. This in turn could lead to the development of new drugs. These drugs could offer the benefit of calorie-restricted diet without engaging in any dietary regime or restriction. I know, I know, a pill that makes you lose weight may sound like a pass to carelessness and indulgence. <laughs> The truth is, sirtuins aren't that powerful. They will definitely improve your health, but that's the key word, improve. This means that they'll make a person move somewhat along that health spectrum, but it won't solve all their problems. For example, an athlete may experience an increase in stanima where a person with diabetes may respond better to insulin. However, 
It's not gonna turn an athlete into Usain Bolt, and it's not gonna turn a person with diabetes into an Olympian. Okay, okay. I can hear you out there asking, now I'm extremely interested in sirtuins. They sound awesome. Is there anything I can do today to increase them to have a longer, healthier life? And give me a minute, at the end, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to increase Cert 1 for a longer, healthier life. Sirtuins are very important to the development of medical science. One of the most important sirtuins for humans is the one we've been talking about, Cert 1. Understanding how it works under a moderate calorie restricted diet could lead to the development of new treatments against metabolic syndrome. While there's some concern related to magic pill that could lead to bad habits where we can eat anything we want and have amazing health and no health problems, well, the chance of that happening is small. <laughs> as powerful as they are, sirtuins right now are no magic pill. But I can give you a few tips on how to maximize your sirtuins to help you live your best life with maximum health for you. How to increase your sirtuins. Three simple steps. <laughs> Number one, Exercise. Exercise helps create an increase in mitochondrial production and an increase in sirtuins in your body. With some initial research suggesting that high intensity interval training may favor CERT1. Anaerobic exercise may favor CERT2. But that research is just preliminary. So just make sure and get some good exercise. Number two. Intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting has been shown to put just the right kind of stress on your body to increase mitochondrial and sirtuins in the body. And finally, number three, sirtuin related supplements. These supplements include resveratrol, NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide supplements, and NR, nicotinamide riboside supplements. All three of these are going to help your body maintain and increase sirtuin levels. Thanks for stopping past the channel. If you like this video on sirtuins, check out this video on increasing your mitochondrial density next. These little ATP producing powerhouses are probably some of the most interesting things in the human body period. <laughs> and always remember to hit that subscribe button because for every new subscriber to this channel, a baby seal learns how to love again. Aww.